hello students today we are going to do a book review of one more book and which is a very good book and it is an old book and you will find the book name is called as basic physics and here you can see it is written forward over here this is a very good book and i like it and i am always i refer to this book whenever i get time you will find here the first chapter in the first part of the book there is some greek alphabets written over here whereas there is some numerical quantity is written like under root 2 value is given 1.414 under root 3 1.732 and which is required for our elementary physics right wise on the right side there is a value of pi given 3.14159 exponential value is given 2.718 and you will find some physical constant values are given some physical data are given some conversion factor is written for example the gravitational constant value is given 6.67 into 10 to power minus 8 centimeter square per gram second square and then Avogadro's number is given and then when we come to the second page of the book you will find basic physics the name of the book is given as well as the uh, consulting editor's name is given then we come to the page number three where the author name is written that is Ford over here Kenneth W Ford basic physics and you will find the publication name is given Oxford and IBH publication company New York Bombay and Calcutta and it is a very old book on the left side there is a portrait given and you will find it is a very old book and here you will find it is written over here that is 1968 that is a uh, Xerox Corporation and here the first edition of the book is printed at 1975 and it is printed in India and here is a prefix is given where the author mentions that in this book there are 28 chapters you will find in this book there is a 28 chapter and the good thing about that the first chapter starts with the elementary particle you will find the first chapter starts with the elementary particle over here here you can see the sub microscopic world and the start part is like a scientist view of the world where the author gives his opinion about the science where it talks about the science as a creativity activity structure of science something about mathematics and machine then the last chapter that is chapter number one and here it is given the topics are arranged subtopics like 1.1 1.2 so on it is arranged and beauty of science and then up to part one part three and you will find this way the book is arranged in parts the part one itself carries from chapter number two to chapter number four and the part two carries from chapter number four to chapter number seven the part three which is written over here mathematics part two is uh, mathematics over here and the part three is mechanics you will find the book is arranged in parts part one talks about sub microscopic world Part 2 is about mathematics, part 3 is about mechanics and then further when you turn the pages, part 4 is of thermodynamics, part 5 is of electromagnetism, part 6 is of relativity, part 7 is of quantum mechanics and so on and then we come to the last chapter over here and which is over here that is 26 particle interaction and 27 you will find the sub microscopic frontier and chapter number 28 that is the progress of science this is the last chapter over here and the good thing about these books is that okay, you will find that is uh, when I, as i am turning the pages you will find over here notes on the text is given the one good thing which i want to mention which is not found in physics books that here the whole physics is explained without any equation so not at all one mathematical equation this book is having and here you will find the author name is given that is Richard Philip, Phillips Finman and which is something unique about this book and here you find the scientist view of the world and then we after taking the chapter number one chapter number one the paragraphs are arranged like paragraph number 1.9 as we start from 1.1 it goes up to 1.9 so so on 1.1 faith in simplicity and it goes up to 1.9 and further then taking over you will find that here the part one starts from sub microscopic world as the book is arranged in parts part one starts from sub microscopic world and in the part one itself the portrait is given of our scientist that is Fermi who is a Nobel Prize winner 
and you will find it starts with elementary particle this is chapter number 2 so sub topic starts with chapter number 2 paragraph number 2.1 2.2 and so on and this way we find the book goes on with different different chapters now here you find it part 2 directly it covers the elementary particles then there is a part 3 over here which covers with our topics of measurement which we are doing in 11 12 class and then speeds so on which we are doing in our 11 12 class and then there is a chapter number 4 which is conservation laws which are there in 11 12 our mechanics and then as we go ahead we will find that there are some advanced chapters also but good thing about this book is that okay, as i've said there is part 2 is mathematics and you will find mathematics is covered over here but there is no equations used over here you will find that without maths the whole book has been arranged you will find there is no mathematics used in this book there is no such equations are used to explain this book the author has taken whole care that everything is explaining in verbal language there is no mathematics used in the book and here you will find our chapter number 7 is there and the subtopics are arranged in 7.1 standard dimensions and unit again you will see that everywhere there are paragraphs and you will find now law of motion is there that is chapter number 8 so as far as possible the author has tried to avoid the mathematics and he has just explained everything you will find as verbal verbal over here much as possible in verbal language over here and much of the mathematics is tried to be removed over here only elementary mathematics is used here you will find this chapter is this topic is based on principle of conservation of angular momentum so you will find that this is based on principle of conservation of angular momentum so there are different different chapters which are there and we have reached in this book up to chapter number here uh, that is you will find up to this chapter number 12 in the last chapter which is there and that is you will find that is 23 which is of quantum mechanics it is not the last chapter but it is advanced topic of quantum mechanics which is the key idea of quantum mechanics and then as we proceed we will find now the last chapter in this book is that is 28 one you will find the last chapter of this book and that is over here that is 28 and that is progress of science and this is the last chapter which this book is having and it tells about the progress of science and then there is usual appendices over here 